This is a fun little problem. We have a right-angled triangle such that the length of its hypotenuse is 7 units. Now we draw a line from this vertex to this side of the triangle such that it bisects this angle, which means this line is an angle bisector. The length of this bisector is 3 units. Using only this much information, our job is to find the area of this right triangle. So, can you solve it? Okay, there are multiple ways to tackle this problem, but we will be using the simplest one that I could come up with. Since this line is an angle bisector, this means both these angles will be the same, and their values will be equal to 90 over 2 or 45 degrees, right? Now let us label the legs of this right triangle as A, which is this one, and B, or this one. Great. Now, using our favorite right triangle theorem or Pythagoras theorem, we can say that A squared plus B squared equals the hypotenuse squared or 7 squared or 49, right? Okay, now, what will be the area of this right triangle? It will be equal to half times the product of the length of its legs, right? This means its area will be half times AB. Keep both of them aside for a while. Now, here comes the magic. If a triangle has side lengths P, Q, and R, and if this angle is theta, then you know what? There is a rule called sine rule for the area of a triangle, which says that the area of this triangle will be equal to half times P times Q times sine of the angle theta. Note that you don't even need all the three sides in order to find the area, you just need two sides and the included angle. So if this is clear, then what will be the area of this smaller triangle on the left side? This side length is A, and this is 3, and this angle is 45 degrees. So its area will be equal to half times 3 times A times sine of angle 45 degrees. Sine 45 degrees equals 1 over square root of 2 so the area will be equal to 3a over 2 root 2, right? Similarly, what will be the area of this smaller triangle on the right side? This side length is b, and this is 3, and this angle is 45 degrees, so its area will be equal to 3b over 2 root 2, isn't it? Now what do you think should be our next step? Yes, correct. Our main right triangle is simply the sum of these two smaller triangles, and thus its area will be equal to the sum of the areas of these two smaller triangles, which is 3a over 2 root 2 plus 3b over 2 root 2, right? Take 3 over 2 root 2 as common, and we get this as 3 over 2 root 2 times a plus b. But its area is equal to ab over 2, and thus equate both of them. We get this. Hey, cancel out 2 from both the sides, then take root 2 this side to get root 2 times AB equals 3 times A plus B. Now square both sides. We get the square root of 2 whole square times AB squared equals 3 square times A plus B whole square. Now expand this. We get A squared plus B squared plus 2 AB. But hey, a squared plus b squared equals 49, right? So put 49 here. Also, square root of 2 square is 2, and 3 square is 9. Now multiply 9 with this to get 49 times 9 or 441 plus 18 times ab. Then move everything to one side to get 2 times ab squared minus 18ab minus 441 equals 0. Oh, wow. This is the quadratic equation with the variable AB. Now, I will not bore you by solving a quadratic equation. We can simply use this formula and obtain two values of AB as this and this. Since A and B both represent sides of this right triangle, therefore both A and B must be positive, and thus AB cannot be negative or less than zero. But this value is less than zero and thus we will discard it. So we are left with AB equals this. Now the area of this right triangle is half of AB, and thus it will be 3 by 4 times, 
3 plus square root of 107 square units. And that's it. This is our final answer. Like, share, and subscribe. So go.